Good morning, everybody. How are we doing today? Ready for some more No Man's Sky? Hope so. We are warping today. We are warping a bunch. We'll see, see how much of these quests we can get done. <clears throat> these two main quests. Kind of what we're working on. Which, uh, we won't really be able to, I don't think we'll be able to do the whole Atlas path. But we might be able to get a good chunk of Artemis done. We'll need seven more Atlas paths, I believe. If there's 16 Atlas stations, then... Or 16 of those stones, then uh, we have seven left. Here we are. I'm pretty much only worried about copper right now. We have what we got. We got half of what we need already up there. Um. I think we're just gonna like jump right in. Just start uh, start warping and head back to that uh, station we were on, which should be the top one. Sure. <clears throat> What's up, girl? <laughs> I still like this thing. Alright, um... You're still living on permadeath? That's... That's how you do it. Kind of the goal. We're gonna see if we can't get through these, uh... Uh... However many... What do we got? We got seven jumps left? I think we got seven jumps left. Jump number one. Purple planet. Yeah, of course you missed. Data injection. Purple forest planet. Doing that whole uh, finding all the things on one planet again. Plenty of star bulb here. Yeah. Don't care. We're just jumping. Let's see what this guy looks like. 
a little sad that they're not, they're not like all different. I kind of thought that every Atlas station would have a different uh, a different look. But it seems like it's just cycling the same handful. This is like the first one that we saw. <laughs> Wait, what? A coincidence with the name of my headphones and the game. Oh, is that is that what my headphones are called? I don't even know. But that's kind of funny. Yeah. You are correct. That's pretty funny. I like it. Good sleuthing. <clears throat> I planted that secret from the start. Before 1.3. <laughs> I just knew I, I knew it was gonna happen. My inside guy told me. I think the most time-consuming part of this whole whole endeavor is collecting all these little bubbles. <clears throat> My goofball cat obviously lost something underneath the or like to the side of the, the fridge. So he's trying with all his might. Actually, he's trying to dig under the fridge now. I think that's gonna work. <clears throat> uh, the final interface is revealed. The Alice beckons. I'm elated, terrified, broken. I've come so very far. The wishes for me to obey. If I am to hold the power of creation, it will be in the chains. I am gifted power. I am enslaved to the imitation of life. Heart of the sun. Ugh. Interesting. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely notice that. Pretty much every time I grab a new ship, immediately the value. When I when I look at the value, I'm like, oh, that's a pretty nice ship, and then, and then as soon as I I grab it, it's like, oh, now it's worth like a quarter of the value. That's awesome. Uh, Alright, I gotta stop my cat. BRB. Ah, that's weird. And then he like me out in the cutest way every time I go over there. He knows how to get what he wants.
<laughs> 48 or 43 slot hauler, and it's only worth 9 million. Was that with all the slots unlocked, or? Because it does, it does up the price a little bit when you unlock slots. Did I get the uh, that anomaly scan thing? Did I just miss it? I mean, nine, nine million is pretty good. If you're, uh, especially early on, if you're just meaning to flip it, that is a decent, decent price. Alright, yeah, I'm on 12. Just checking. It looks like a long travel, but it's not. Inject me. Inject me, please. Oh, yeah. Give me that data injection. Mm. And a little TP. What's up, buddy? You know, I can look underneath everything later. Still starting out, uh, 35 slot fighters, pretty damn good. There's no bubbles. Why are there no bubbles? Oh, there's nothing here. Ooh. Interesting. It did say the last one, last time I, at the last station it said, last uh, atlas station or something destination or whatever okie doke I'm interested now of some sort. Oh, you know what I probably need to do? Make one of those goddamn bo Oh, wait, hold on. I just had a Atlas Seed Chamber. Uh. I feel like these are supposed to like require the those uh, things I've been collecting. All those recipes. So far, so good. Maybe I need like the final one to go in the middle or something.
Oh, for Alien, though, even C-Class is probably pretty good, right? Okay. I need Heart of the Sun. Alright. Um... What materials do I need for that? I feel like it's gonna be a lot, but... Yeah, I'm wrong. Uh, where is the first one? This guy, we just need iridium. And then we need copper. And then we need nickel. And aluminum. And gold. And emerald. And... Cotmatogen? I don't even know what the hell that is. Rubium, Rubidium, and then Nanites for the last one. <laughs> okay, well, we got to the final Atlas station, and we cannot do anything with it because, uh... Yeah. I guess we got here too soon. I still need to do some warping, but obviously we're gonna... We're going to um, remember this place. I thought it would. Uh, I thought it would be a 16 thing, but I guess uh, the Atlas Path is not a 16 thing. So we're gonna need to. Um, we're gonna need to get both of the the the, the warp drive upgrades. Uh, for sure. And then we're gonna need to collect like 200 of everything. And yeah, then we can we can activate this thing. Which uh, I don't think that's gonna be our top priority here. I think we're going to uh, uh, I think we're going to to finish this Artemis thing first. <clears throat> Because we're going to have to collect a shit ton of nanites to buy those uh, those upgrades unless we want to wait for all the anomalies and get them from Polo. Okay. This is where um, I wish we had a way to lock uh, a portal address, or like a space station. I wish we had a way to rename these and a way to lock them. So that I could, uh... I could lock this station. So I don't accidentally get rid of it. I'm gonna have to remember its name and then, uh... Which, where do you find the station names? Oh, you know what I could do? I could just uh, set this as our waypoint. Look at all these unexplored universes. Yeah, I guess I, I, I probably should have uh, named the system, but... Jinit Sawa is not like a super hard one to uh, to remember. But like, it doesn't, it doesn't name portals by their... Uh, it names them by the station name. That's, that's the weird thing. And like, you don't see your station name anywhere and that you can't uh, can't rename all 
Alright. Well. Let's just... Just verify the station name here. Should be on top. Oh, it does have the, uh... Yeah. I didn't realize that the uh, system name was in the station name. I kind of just thought it was like a random station name. That's right. I'll, I'll know this name. I should have. Uh, I should have renamed the system, but we'll live. Can't do nothing about it now. I got it as my my waypoint. I don't really change my waypoint ever. So that should do. If we need to jump back there, why am I trying to get in the ass of my ship? Since I think Atlas was going away from the center, uh, we can we can do these last few jumps towards the center. Then we'll have one portal going to Last Atlas Pass or the Last Atlas Station, and then we'll have another one going actually towards the center. Buzz. Some waypoints. No, we want Galactic Core. Yeah, we have hit all these places. Let's uh, re-explore. I kind of want to look at some of these. Okay, you're not really, you're not really free explorer, since you're still locked to this. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So then, if we go the other way, though, I think I think our. Uh, Atlas path, like right here. I don't remember going to all these. Our Atlas path kind of went all over the place. I guess we could obviously see where our custom waypoint is. All the way to hell over here. Okay, so this is custom waypoint. And then if we go Galactic Center, it's going that way. So yeah, it's faster to start at home. Uh, the white circle. White circle is just the ones that you've been to, right? Alright, give me another data injection. Yeah. Unable to warp. Oh, fuck. I forgot I. Oh, really? There's some that don't have the circles? Beard. I need to get in some more starship fights. That's gonna be the bitch. 
out of all these milestones, it's going to be the ship's destroyed milestone that's going to probably kill me, but at least be a pain in the ass. I guess I just do the the uh, missions. Um, yeah, that's fine. We left without any. Like moon. Jungle moon. Fancy. One more. We are going to the Husnart. Oh yeah, that's that's where I'm going. I'm going I'm going towards uh, Living Glass. I've been setting it up for Living Glass. We got like two Earths here. Okay. You obviously hit the end of the world. Everything's going to explode. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I warped 50 times at the same time I finish this. Uh, <laughs> Terrell, did you die again from the architects? <laughs> I don't understand how you're uh, how you're doing that alone. Cause that's a strike, isn't it? I thought all the strikes were uh, uh, match made playlist style now. Or do you eventually get the chance to unlock it yourself? Uh, trace the ley lines in the portal. Oh, I guess we just follow this guy. Just waited until you're solo? Huh. Final interface portal. Warning nothing. Oh, you did get it? That's good. Yeah, I stuck around for that one, uh, that one try. It was a doozy. Did, uh, did you and the missus get through uh, the campaign yet? Nice. It's a relatively short, but pretty, pretty nice campaign. I just got a Titan. I can't be doing the, uh... Oh, Jesus. Pouring rain and sentinels. That's fantastic. Charge the glyphs. Oh, God.
Yes, yes, I know. You're an asshole. Yeah, no, I know, I did read that, though, you're, uh, uh, yeah, because I, I got, like, a small clan with just, like, a couple of friends in it, so, like, either I'm not going anywhere or I'm joining a bigger clan, because <laughs> I think, I think we got, uh, just my 5,000 thrown into it so far. Yeah, so you can, you technically get 15,000 per week. Which isn't bad, I guess. A lot of work, though. Destiny's life, girl. Are you getting it for the PC when it comes out? Uh, what am I supposed to be doing here now? Like, I'm at the portal. Did I not charge one of them? Oh, there we go. 16, 16, 16. Atlas Protocol initiated. 16, 16, 16. The portal shimmers as I look at it, never quite resting long enough for my eyes to fully process it fully. I must focus. Here, let's activate the portal. This has turned out wonderfully for me every time I've done it, so might as well. And then I'm going to die while I'm in the middle of a cutscene. This game hates me. How much of a bitch would that be? Pouring rain not uh, hurt me. That's that's pretty cool. Then it's just kind of Dream Sentinel Planet. Yeah, but Destiny 2 isn't quite about the story, and the story is pretty pretty fun, even if it's short. Where are you? It's all about the grind. Which is which is a really terrible way of selling a game. <laughs> much everything from Destiny 1 they just made better. Uh, like public events are fun as hell now and you can find them because they're all marked on the map. I don't really play much Crucible but even that uh, occasionally is uh, pretty cool. Right, I think I've had enough here. Get out of here since it's a storm anyway. Lots of screaming for nothing? I don't scream in Destiny 2. I don't really scream very much very often though. Okay. Um. Well, ah, great. Breach, breach, breach. Anomalous signal detected. It keeps throwing me some really cool looking planets after... After I get, uh... Through a portal. Uh-oh. Uh, don't 
kill me. Let me get this plutonium first. I might need it. Did that say one of 16? Jesus. That's iron. Hello. I will speak with the Atlas. The Atlas is silent. It watches me. Cry out. I cry out, but still the Atlas is silent. Cry out again. I cry out, thinking of my journey, thinking of all the things that I have seen. Of Artemis. Just wanted to meet another traveler who just wanted an end to their loneliness. Cry out. I cry out thinking of Apollo who gave me purpose when all purpose seemed lost. Cry out! I cry out thinking of Null, thinking of how they lived, what choices they made, the path that led them to this end. I cry out again, there's no return. If I cry out again, I must make my final choice. Cry out! Artemis once said, when they first reached out to the heavens, they had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger. I stand before the interface of the Atlas, before the center of all things. I stand before the death of existence. Okay, I thought that was my last cry out. On the sixth cry, the Atlas answers. Traveler. Stand my ground. It speaks, I understand. At my command, the Atlas will initiate a reset. It has happened before, and it seems to stop nothing. Still only has 16 minutes left. You don't know what I will remember when it happens. When I woke up next to my ship, I had just performed a reset? Or had I just performed a reset? Had someone else? Everything is coming to an end. Perhaps all that is left is to learn the final truth of the simulation, to know who the travelers truly are, and then a thousand galaxies will be gone and a thousand more will appear it will all be mine to explore <sighs> okay I mean I've kind of been hellbent on resetting the simulation this whole time so I should just do it right doing it reset I have to know what happens New galaxy awaits. The creation. They don't have anything else but a color. They just have to choose a color. This is my... This is how I live. I just choose a color. Well... I believe... I'm, I'm leaning green. Lean in blue too. I'm gonna go green. Bottoms up. Oh, okay. I'm able to actually look at it. The tranquil galaxy. The Atlas has created a simulation of its own world, entire existence, in an attempt to witness its own impending death. It wishes to show me its past and its future. Okay. Well, red seems the opposite of tranquil. The raging galaxy. 
The Atlas has created a simulation of its own world, its entire existence, an attempt to... Okay, it says the same thing. Alright, so we got Raging and Tranquil. The Ancestral Galaxy. In, an imperfect galaxy. The simulation of the world. Mm. Alright. I mean, Tranquil would be nice just so that I'm not always about to die, right? Nah, let me pick first. And then you can tell me what, what I should have picked. I kind of want to pick this guy, because it seems like this will be our current universe. Our current galaxy. Like, that's already what we are, right? I'm gonna try Tranquil. I'm gonna do it. We did it. Ooh, achievement locked. Alright, now you can spoil it. <laughs> I picked the tranquil, the tranquil galaxy. Tilbert, is, isn't that the one you go to after you reach the center or something? I think I've heard something like that. Yeah, I remember reading about that. Yep, I'm going somewhere else. New galaxy. Isentam. Which one did you pick, girl? Initialize? Oh no. We're starting over again. So you didn't reset? This is crazy. We just started over. <laughs> oh, I still got my multi-tool. Oh. I still got my stuff too. Does human mean hot, or is this is this gonna be like an actual planet that I can? Oh, there's like no danger on this planet, and I got all my stuff. Everything's broken. 
But I got all my stuff. Oh, this is so nice. I'm gonna have like planets that I can, I can hang out on and like not worry about everything. Uh, if I build a heart of the sun and then add 16 more <laughs> nanites to it, I get remembrance, a relic of another place. Oh, I feel so good. Oh, well, I gotta fix everything. But besides that, I feel pretty good. I'm happy. I don't have to worry about every single planet trying to kill me. This is nice. Oh, every, what? Wait a second. How am I gonna... How am I gonna fix my mining beam? If I don't have any iron... How do I iron... How do... Hmm. Okay. Well, now I am a little bit confused. Because I need iron. <laughs> and I don't have any. I did not know I was going to need it right this instant. Everything is broken. Oh boy. It seems like heaven, except I, I need to find iron. Do I just punch rocks? Is this Minecraft now? Yeah, this is not going to take forever. I need to I need to do this to four to four rocks. <laughs> like legitimately this is the only thing that I could do, right? God, I can't I can't imagine what the raging galaxy would have been like. Like, where we were is the, like, normal state of things on permadeath. I cannot imagine the galaxy that, you know, they literally made to be even more terrible. Yeah, pretty much run, forest, run. Like, every planet is extreme everything. I should still have that, uh... All that extra plutonium in my cargo yeah okay so i'll at least be able to charge up my mining laser but once i get this going i should be fine just need to do this to apparently four rocks because i didn't have any iron on me i used it for my pulse well this is neat I don't know, maybe, but uh, it, it could also just be like, we, we kind of told you what you were going <laughs> to get yourself into, so you chose that because you wanted extreme everything. It's going to be interesting, like, I'm not going to know what all the planets are like anymore. I wonder if it would be harder to find biome specific stuff. Like if all the planets are just like nice. Hmm. 
You know, I didn't even think about my mining laser when we, uh... Yeah. When, when I did that, like... I'm like, well, this might reset everything. And I just completely forgot about how I'd, I'd probably lose my mining laser. But thank God I don't. Does this mean I'm not part of the simulation? Like, it seems like the simulation reset around me. Get out of my face, man. I'm in a cave. Yeah, go scan those things. This is so fun. They couldn't give me one little thing that wasn't broken, like my mining laser. Oh shit, I got I got one extra rock, I guess. <laughs> Whoops. Multi-tool, mining beam. I have a mining beam! I forgot that it doesn't have all its upgrades. So it's, it's not as wonderful. Looking technical slots on my shoot. Well, I still keep my hazmat gauntlet. There, there you go. I guess, I guess I, I still have two things that didn't get destroyed. <coughs> Alright. Well, this is going to be a fun little little thing. Is In that intro, it said jetpack operational. Shh. Bullshit. Okay, well, hazard protection is pretty important, so we'll jump that up. Technical slots? Oh yeah, yeah, actually all this stuff is still still working. I didn't even like think about these guys. Yeah, maybe it's a bug. I, mean, I wasn't really sure what to expect there, so uh I'm not even coming out here, I just stay in the cave. Obviously there's lots of iron there. What do I need to to fix my plasma. Oh, I can already do that. Hell yeah, let's blow up some iron. Okay, or not. Oh, so annoying. So annoying. What, I gotta hit the tip of the... Like it seems like if I hit the if I hit the ground, that's when it doesn't work. I had to hit like this top quarter. It actually seems like it'd be working. Like if I just hit it just underneath the top. Nope, never mind. I was wrong. Whatever. Most of the stuff I want to work on is the, uh, I can do that, I can do that, need titanium, need iridium, I can do that. Yeah, at least we got our advanced. Yeah, I don't know, it se seems more buggy than it seems lucky. Uh, scanner we can do, and visor.
Cool. So we're actually uh, not doing too bad on our mining laser thing here. What's up, Robles? How we doing? We're in a new galaxy. That's what's up. We're in a new galaxy and everything is... Everything is broken. I just had to punch rocks for 10 minutes. I have not. Yeah, I completely forgot about the Atlas Pass before. Nobody got those yet, right? Like the physical Atlas Pass? I'm still I'm still stuck on Atlas Path uh uh V1 right now. That is my Man, it feels good to just walk around a planet without worrying about it killing you. I I cannot stress that enough. Little fella. Oh, these guys still exist in my paradise world. Yes, please. Alright, well, this is an assumption I'm going to need Marlbulb for something. Nah, I'm from Chicago. I got a couple friends uh, in Florida. They've all like checked in safe on Facebook and stuff. So I think it uh, it downgraded quite a bit um, before it hit. Like it looked like it was going to be a lot worse than it actually ended up being. So I think a lot of them said they were uh, short on power. But besides that, uh, it wasn't it wasn't too terrible. But I'm in Chicago, so hurricanes are never usually a uh, an issue for me. <laughs> if if a hurricane is an issue for me, then then that's it, America is gone. <laughs> Multipass? You know what? I don't know. I, I got two... Uh, let me check real quick. I got two trophies. 
or achievements in Steam. Uh, let me see what they are. Do I find my achievement? I don't even know where to find your achievement. I guess it's in the uh, actual uh, page on here. You all achievements. I got... I did! Reach the center of the galaxy in survival mode, and reach the center of the galaxy in permadeath mode. Those are the two that I got. Yeah. So I guess uh, just finishing that kills off uh, those achievements. That's pretty, pretty awesome. What am I missing now? Uh, attain archiv archivist status in zoology. I have to scan some more planets. Uh, I need to destroy... I pretty much just need to max out all the uh, milestones. Legend status. Everlasting and survival. I need to visit another player's base and finish my milestones. And then I... And then I got the... Uh, I got all the achievements on Steam. That's pretty neat. Yeah, that's that's pretty awesome, but that does seem like does seem like the cheaty way to do it. I was like fully prepared to draw that out and make that take a long time to actually get to the center. I'm actually excited to just like explore these planets that aren't terrible hell holes. Perhaps we should like actually head in the direction of our ship. Might be a good plan. So will I still be able to find that last Atlas Path uh, destination again, or is that like lost forever for me? Yeah, Ice and Sand for life, I guess. I I was gonna I was gonna either pick the the last one, uh, which Burl told me was the uh, uh, I don't know Heisen whatever, uh, the old uh, center of the universe where you went. Um, but I decided on Tranquil just because I kind of assumed it would be uh, a little bit more paradise-y. And I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Spent a lot of hours in permadeath. I paid my dues. It's, it's time I actually get a couple of planets that aren't terrible. Before this, my definition of not terrible would be like, uh, there's no storms, and that's about it, because like, the sentinels were either trying to kill me, or, uh oh, Atlas Path fixes in 136, so I, so I beat it just in time? <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, do, do they list them? Like, uh, what, what, what kind of things are changing, or...? Yeah, I, I was pretty sure I wasn't gonna go for the Raging, uh, Galaxy. That was... That was locked in pretty, pretty good. Hey, what's up, Belmary? Yeah, I, I, I didn't read the... Normally I read the patch notes right away. I think uh, either either Destiny 2 took up too much time and I just like glanced over the fact that a new patch came out, or I don't know, I was busy or something. So I didn't, I didn't read the patch notes. But I saw a lot of the new uh, inventory stuff and it looks awesome. 
But yeah, if you if you guys uh, anything you want to tell me about 136 that's coming, uh, I will listen. Oh, Atlas Path fixes. Ah, okay. So you mean like, uh, like all those bugs that are stopping people from actually finishing? I assume. At first, I thought you meant like they they fix this bug that finishes your achievement. <laughs> I should check. Oh, it just it, it reset my space anomaly. So I think I just have to do this again. Except for the guy with the atlas, what choice did I have? I'm part of the atlas. I'm nothing without it. I do not know how long I've been before the machine is destroyed, before the simulation ends, but I do know that the freedom of infinite worlds, infinite galaxies, it is mine to explore as I will. There's nothing to do but enjoy the journey. This is a this 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 is a long ass uh a long ass secondary mission. This is gonna take me forever to finish. What would be cool is if they had like each step like building all of the different stones up until the the heart of the sun. That would be neat. I should uh, be like checking on what I need to collect. I'm just kind of like, all right, we need some, we need a bunch of chrysonites. We need iridium. Uh, we need iridium and some titanium. Ooh, we found an anomaly. We can go check out uh, Nada and Pola now. I wonder if like the story continues and they remember me. Cause they're kind of like outside of time and space, right? That'd be cool. Oh, I mean that's. I guess I guess I get it because that's kind of like, it definitely felt like the end of a story. So. And before the end of the story, quote unquote, is uh, you know, was getting to the center. So I guess I guess I understand why they they don't consider that to be a glitch or whatever. I think it's kind of it it kind of detracts from the whole getting the center thing because that. I mean, I don't even have all I have is a warp drive sigma. I don't I don't even have a warp drive that would be anywhere near being able to get to the center right now and and now I have the achievement that says I did kinda wish there was a there was a second achievement for the Atlas Rises uh, quest line I don't think I scanned these little rocks Well, since like one of the achievements we need is to find all the species, we need four more on this planet. Yeah, it's nice to be on a starball planet without, uh, without a bunch of assholes trying to kill you all the time, huh? I'm I'm like totally not gonna lie. I didn't think this could possibly exist in this game. I just, I just accepted. Uh, it's permadeath. Everything's supposed to be hard, so 
I'm, ne I'm never going to live on a planet that isn't trying to kill me. some heridium too. Uh, almost always finding the last animal is total BS. I got four more to find and I haven't seen a red dot in a while. preview window it looks like it's still going uh, maybe refresh somebody tell Robles to refresh <laughs> anybody else having an issue with the stream all right good You know what I'm thinking like a lot of the uh, the new uh, extension stuff might be might be causing a couple of uh, a couple of issues with like the player in general, like some of the overlays and stuff. So it might do some weird stuff sometimes. That's what I would guess. When in doubt, kick it. Is Calypso the red galaxy? Cause, cause I immediately vetoed that answer in my head as soon as I, as soon as I saw raging. I enjoy the the challenge of playing on permadeath, but like this this is gonna help my uh, my little twitch that I've had uh, in the back of my head that um, like every time I died in permadeath or like when I got a little bit frustrated over something I would I'd be like I just need to start like a casual just to just to relax and and kind of play, you know, and explore and do some stuff without worrying about dying all the time. So I think I think this is gonna help. I can do that now. Ew. Yeah, that would be terrible. Like, you can't even do anything on those planets. You're outside for like five seconds, and then if it storms, it's like literally five seconds and you're dead. <laughs> like, unless you have Theta shields and all the all the rest of them, you're you're pretty much instantly dead if anything happens on any planet. That would be crazy. I am not ready for that challenge. <laughs> it would be like, uh, you know, 50 hours of play to get through the story or whatever. And then as soon as I spawn on my new planet, I just, I die in less than 15 minutes. Got any extra red dots for me, guys?
So, if I build a new base, am, am I going to get like half of my stuff back or is it just going to be like everything's gone so I don't have a base anymore? Like, I can accept that. It's going to be kind of a bitch to rebuild everything, but... What's up, Starkiller? Welcome back. That's cool. I'll accept half. Half will help me, like, I'll be able to rebuild for the most part. I should be able to, like, get back to the point where, uh, uh, where I'm capable of building biodomes after a harvest and stuff. Yeah, no problem, Starkiller. Yeah, they're, they're pretty new. They, they, extensions just came out uh, like a week or so ago. They're uh, pretty fresh. I just threw up a couple that look neat. <clears throat> well, you're supposed if, if you don't deconstruct your base first, then that's when you're supposed to get half of your stuff back when you rebuild. Uh, so hopefully that still happens. I'm just, I'm just wondering since I'm kind of, you know, restarting, kind of, sort of. Like I got all my stuff, but everything's broken. Yeah, normally, if you move your base without destroying it... Oh, wow. I filled up my shit already. Okay. Uh, I'll stack that over there. Yeah, no normally, if you... Uh, try to build a new base without deconstructing your old one by hand, uh, you'll get half of your stuff back. Which is why I've never actually done that. Because <laughs> although they say they said they wanted to make it like easy for you to like not set up shop on one planet and stay there forever then they add this arbitrary penalty for moving your base to another planet. Which is, you either get half of your stuff, or it's incredibly annoying to move your base. I, I kind of, I feel like I will. You, you know what's going to like throw me off is like, this planet is nice, like it has no real danger, but the only danger of this planet on, uh, on, in permadeath before was, uh, was the Sentinels. So like, these planets usually didn't have any, any, uh, weather hazards anyway. Starbolt planets? So I am not sure what the, uh, biome planets are actually gonna have in store. Like they, it might still be just. It might be like all, all the planets are like normal. Like I lose uh, shielding. Uh, at you know normal slash casual rates instead of survival rates. Yeah, we'll have to see. 
I'll be okay with that. Still gonna need a lot of a uh, lot of iron. Have I found a heridium spire in a while? I haven't been looking that hard. I'll keep an eye out for one of those. Ooh, what's this? If this is iridium, then I'm pretty happy. Yeah. Needed some of this from a mining laser. Grab a stack or so. Should be good. Just over a stack. Oh, so like finding uh, weathery planets are are just a lot more rare. Cool. That's cool. I'm okay with that. I mean, if I'm getting half of my mass back anyway, I'll, uh, I should have the plants to plant, uh, at least one of everything. So, you know, slow going in the beginning, but... I'm gonna need, like, an extra biodome for, for frost, uh, frost crystals now. I was planting those outside before. Unless we find a cold planet that we can just set up shop on again. That would be cool too. Some pretty tall cliffs. Hey Multiplace, thanks for the thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh oh. What do we need on our ship that uses iridium? No, no, I guess we can repair a bunch of the stuff that we can. Um, how much can we make as far as karite? I guess only three. I'm going to need a lot of heridium, so I might as well get it all here. Uh, oh, 
Let me create an eighth. So our combat amplifier is the only thing we're left there. Need a bunch more iron. Let's keep this going. Gonna be enough. We need the 375 here. Uh, this is platinum and emerald, so we don't really need to worry about that. 200 here. Another 100 there. We're at like 675. Alright, we need 675 to repair all the crap in here. I'll throw one more stack over there just to keep it all on my ship. Uh, we need another 100 here. Well, we can just do that now. Alright, I think that's all we need iridium for there. I like how I got a. I, I do have a life support meter here, but it's uh, it's broke. <laughs> My life support is broke. Should I just not fix my life support? Like, doesn't seem to really be going down that fast. Or at all, really. Can we see that meter moving? Maybe that's a bug. It's even jumping. No, it's totally not moving. Oh, that was stupid. Okay, I'm not gonna fix my life support for a while. <laughs> Here's my baby. Over here, uh, it's plutonium. And for a stash of chrysonite or titanium would be nice. Oh yeah, once I get my uh, once I get my base, I get access to my uh, cargo slots again, the containers. That will be helpful. Hello, old friend. Sorry. Why aren't I just running everywhere? Life support doesn't do anything. Thank you, Alexa. 
Is there like a reason to ever fix your life support? If it doesn't deplete anymore? I mean, obviously a bug, but... I'm gonna fix my life support. But I'll take advantage of it right now. Uh-oh. We still have asshole creatures. Where you at? Scanning through a rock? No. Ooh, there you go. Come on, man. This guy is... Okay. You know what? Screw you. I was gonna leave you alive, man. Ooh, look at all that. We need a bunch of titanium. Pineapple man. Maybe these birds are different too. Nope. They are not. What's up, small? How are we doing today? And the flow? How are you? There you go. I'll see you here. Alright, we got a... <laughs> Alright, I call you Z. Sometimes I just like to try the names. What do you want? Uh, thanks, thanks for the host there, Z. Like how the hostiles approaching from the alert was uh, only seconds before the real one. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna need iron for days with all the shit that we have to repair. Sequence Thank you for the follow, Z. All right. Sounds like a plan. Oh, okay. <laughs> Still gotta try. What do you uh, What do you plan there, Smalls? Are you on uh, permadeath, survival, casual? Doing anything fun? Well, the original agenda for today was uh, was to finish up or continue on to the Artemis uh, quest line. But, uh, now it's fix all my shit, because we're in a new galaxy.
<laughs> uh, we got a bunch. Then the force is deactivated. Small, I have no idea about that. Are you continuing a uh, version one game? That's uh, cool. Cool. I had to start over when uh, Alice Rises came out. He beckoned me too. All right, let's see what I can do with this. Yeah, usually I use biodomes, so I'm not sure about the trays getting damaged. Scenario iteration, transfer deleted, probable boundary separation failure, vessel 16 emptied, sentinel intervention, deliberate transfer unknown, diagnostic no connection. Analysis, awaiting fresh iteration. Anomaly, containment prepared. Trailer's broadcast. Traveler anomaly detected. Position log, system integrity scan initialized. Anomaly is compliant. I'm compliant, guys. I want to stay on this galaxy. It's a nice one. Lot of carite sheets. What does it do if I try to do this? Oh, sweet. I thought I could only build like four stack. That's pretty awesome. Um. Okay. No, pulse engine. Oh, no, we're gonna need a dynamic resonator. That's all right. Thrusters. Still need chrysonite. And we still need emerald. Only chrysonite there. And we still need chrysonite and titanium. Looks like chrysonite. And emerald. A little bit of titanium should finish off my multi tool. And my ship. Um, uh, this place has gold, so I should be able to finish that one off. Probably do this real quick. Wherever that went. Our jetpack was working without our jetpack, too. So that's fun. Alright. We fixed it. So, a little bit of gold. Does it, uh, 
Oh, whoops. Did not realize I was a minor train manipulator here. Uh, small, does it like open up with a, a way to unlock it or fix it? Or, or is that what it's asking for? It's asking for the superconductive lock? Maybe you have to just hit up a uh, space station, see if they sell them. Otherwise, I am not sure. Okay, we're probably not going to find Emerald here. It's not a big deal. But I know there's gold. I saw one thing of it. Yeah, that's what I, I I'm asking if like it's giving them an option to uh, to do that, like the nanite canisters. That's the only thing I can think of. Anybody else has uh, other ideas? Did you uh, did you try just deconstructing it and rebuilding it? Might just be bugged. Oh, that was all of them. Sweet. I just casually found the last, uh... The last thing. Oh, they still come up broken after you rebuild them? That's strange. I do not know. Seems very, very strange. these uh, ships circling. Now my life support is going down. It would have kind of just annoyed me to have that broken anyway. I'm one of those people that needs to clear every notification and stuff. Or it bothers me. <laughs> Which, uh, 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 Dalt, thank you very much for the follow. The, uh, the email app I use on my iPhone, uh, I'm using iOS 11 right now, and the app I use on my iPhone right now doesn't clear its notification when you're done using it, but like that just bothers the hell out of me. I always have like three or two or whatever staring at me, even though there's nothing there. Fix your shit, Google. Does that look like gold in the back, or is that more emerald? I 
is that's a that's an issue with uh, adding my scanner to the right trigger, keeping zoom on left. That I'm just gonna scan every time I I zoom. But oh well, I can live with it. Pretty sure that's uh, iridium. Let's go take off. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. A little bit easier to explore when we're flying around. Kind of see what the rest of the system looks like. Got a lot of stuff we can do. So we got like 45 minutes or so. I feel like I got two minutes away from my ship already. Seems far. Kind of wandered. Small. If you don't see like any uh, anything on Google or whatever about like you know No Man's Sky superconductive lock or whatever, uh, I would submit a report to them for a bug because that's probably a bug, especially if you like can't get rid of it. Mind arc? Uh, yeah. It needs a uh, platinum living glass and a circuit board. And it's worth a whopping, like, what, 5,000 credits once you put all that together. I think it should be worth at least like two million. Platinum. One hundred platinum. So happy my starship survived the reset and everything. Yeah, I usually feel pretty helpful on this uh, channel, but that is an issue I have not heard of yet. Um, well, we got lots of plutonium now. So, we like kind of go around a little bit. We haven't really found any any buildings and stuff. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I didn't think about mods. That could be an issue. All right. Is this that little shitty thing that, oh, there it is. <laughs> PS4 plug. 
lots of people play. I think honestly, more people play on PS4 than uh, than PC. I just find it easy. I have it on both. I just find it easier to stream on uh, PC. Right, let's sell a bunch of stuff. Clear up some space. Where did I get the copyright from? Oh, it's probably coming from a uh, plant or something. Rophium. A lot of pugnium. I feel like we can get rid of the two nickel just because it's taking up space. Also taking up space. Maybe I can buy the titanium I need and the chrysanite. Ooh, I might be able to buy all the stuff that I need to fix up all my stuff. I like it. I like it. Get rid of all the junk. All right, so what do we need? Well, let's make sure they have Rhysonite and Titanium first. And I think all we'll need is Emerald if they have these. Uh, they do not. Doesn't matter. Hello. Browsing a map of the surrounding landscape, certain areas contain markings that represent sentinels, which the life form is highlighting with an excited snarl. Stroke the bolt caster absentmindedly before checking the ammo charge stored in its clip. On this, their eyes jolt up towards me. They bark a question, but it sounds more like a command. Um, I don't really want to give him my isotope, but I assume that's what he needs for his blaster. They're satisfied with my donation. They present me with a gift in exchange. Oh, okay. I guess. That's good enough. Whatever. Yeah, the scan scan time on on permadeath and survival is pretty pretty insane. But uh yeah, mods I haven't done done much with at all. I installed my first mod uh, not too long ago, but that was just to get rid of the super speed lines when you're pulsing, and that was just because of how it destroyed the quality of my stream every time I was pulsing, so I kind of rationalized it that way. It doesn't really affect gameplay at all. I mean, not doesn't really, it just doesn't affect gameplay at all. <laughs> Uh, greets me. Investors at a series of charts form in front of them. They appear to be adding their own notes, adding what appears to be tallies next to certain. That's north. Nods and things. Alright, I got nothing. Images of shadows. I don't need to read that. We're going backwards, so four, four, six. Yeah, it sounds like a strange bug. It doesn't really sound, uh, It sounds like something they could have introduced in 1.3, just because it's uh, uh, that that's when they started introducing all like the locks on stuff in order to open them. You have to like repair them and stuff. So somehow that got bugged onto um, bugged onto the freighter stuff. Huh. 
Yeah, that's what I, I heard. It was just uh, part of the config. At least on PC. Those PS4 plebs gotta deal with their base limit. <laughs> um, minus one, right? Yeah. Oh, beef. Three. Ooh, crash freighter on over there. Got lots of uh, points of interest on a new planet already. I haven't even left this one. Go us. We are a colleague with their Gek. Oh. Uh, I guess that makes sense, you know. I, your, your freighter is only of a limited size. <laughs> maybe, may, maybe that's a way to rationalize that. All right, guys, you can go ahead and park now. Kind of feeling. Um, I don't see any gold. Ooh, there's gold. Let's see. How much do we need? We need like 50 or something? I want to see if I can... Tool. Oh, I guess it was exosuit. 25. We only need 25 gold. Is this gold? I feel like this is gold. Yeah. Got enough gold. Boom. My inventory is fixed. Alright, so now we need the Chrysonite, the Titanium, and... Uh, and some Emerald. Oh, we got that Anomaly. Yeah, we gotta check that out too. It looks like this this planet's got two moons. Oh man, we might we might already have a place to set up shop. I love living on moons. I want to see what kind of moon. Need to get a little bit higher here. Are pirates going to be less frequent in this uh, galaxy too? Because that would be so cool. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get like too comfortable. And I start resting on my laurels and then end up dying because something stupid is going to get me. Ooh, cactus flesh, nice. Tropical moon. Isotopic moon, we got Gamma Root. We can set up shop on a Gamma Root planet. And then what's this? Oh, there's pirates. Is that selenium too? Yeah, scorched. Just a bounty. Damn, for all that iron that we got, we are out of iron. That's pretty cool, I guess. Suppose we want to hit up this anomaly. 
and the space station first. See, this is the only mod that I've installed. Like, it takes away all the extra speed lines from the outside. Is that always, uh, like, all that extra uh, speed was impossible for my encoder to keep up with. We set up on like the, the tropical moon and it's just because it's a nice fun place to be. But I also don't mind setting up on Gamma Root Place. That's like where where it's at for a farm. Yeah. Am I still low on Thamium? Because I was low on Thamium. Now you know what? I'm doing okay on Thamium now at least. So that's better. I just I, I usually just wait until I get to uh, to a planet. Uh, yep, I am Dark Hillary, thank you very much for the host. Uh, yeah, I, I am playing on PC. Where is our opening? It's right here. Sucking me in. See if not on Polo, remember me. If it's gonna like reset to, to nothing. No, I haven't installed the experimental. I am on official 135. Hi guys, remember me? Remember me? Tell me, remember me. All must end. Time must end. Even here. Not on Polo. Cannot escape. Reality fall. Data cannot survive. Make peace. Find happiness. Be who you want to be. Goodbye, companions. Goodbye, stars. I will remember. All the pieces have fallen into place. Not explains. Where once not a stared at star charts. Now they see lines of color. This is the same one that I got before. There are connections and patterns everywhere. Perhaps I will understand soon. I shiver and say goodbye. What a weird thingy. I'm gonna I'm gonna look for a black hole because I haven't found a black hole yet, so. We'll see if we can still make it to the center of the universe anyway. Killer, I've been doing good, and uh, I got pretty excited when I got to this new system here, or this new uh, new galaxy. Uh, probably won't install experimental. I usually don't. They usually only take a few days to come out anyway, so not not a huge deal most of the time. Uh, you are not like me, friend. You can still go on planets. You can still meet new life forms, speak, shout, love. Not on Polo would be killed for going so far. You must learn more words. You must know how to make yourself heard, traveler. You are our only friend. Polo claims cannot teach me language directly, that their files. Alien languages are damaged. I wonder if I'm being manipulated somehow. The Gek watches me with an earnest and friendly sorrow, awaiting my discovery of more words. It is almost as if they want to tell me something. I know words. Present my proof, my linguistic advancement. Polo burst into tears. They say they wish I remembered my old life, our old times together. Ask Polo what they mean, but they claim they cannot talk about it. They claim they have said too much. So he kind of seems like he. Ooh, I got my warp reactor tau. Ha! <laughs> Remember, we were just talking about uh, having to spend the nanites to buy this. So that's pretty awesome. Is 
we got over here still. Alright, Circular. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm probably only gonna be on for another like twenty minutes or so. Um Yeah. Artemis didn't survive the uh the reset. Although I never I haven't been able to find her over there in quite some time. Check out the star base station first. Today, suckers. Found the aluminum. That's like the worst thing in my inventory. And 161 aluminum. That's what they were targeting. Wait, can I can I just teleport back to my old base? Like, is my old base still a thing? What do you got to sell me? Grenade intensity towel, nice. Yeah, the rest of it's free. Sequence complete. Um, I know we need at least we need at least one resonator, right? I don't remember for what. I just feel like we needed a resonator. Oh yeah, we needed a resonator for the uh, for uh, this guy. Boom. Cool. Still got its fuel in it and everything. I'm gonna check to see if the uh, the portal has my my old base on it. I, I don't feel like I should be able to. Nope. Don't even have a portal. Eisentam? Eisen something. The, the, uh, the paradise. Or tranquil. Crash freighter. Yeah, we need iron anyway, so let's. We're gonna see how uh, how hot this planet is. Besides scorched. Oh, 
<laughs> like, finding a new galaxy is pretty much a worldwide event. Oh. Oh, look. Well, okay, never mind. My, uh, my shield. My regular shield is gone. So it looks, it looks like, uh, these planets are still, like, their normal, their normal amount of, uh, wear and tear on the old systems. Oh, after you closed it? Okay. Does, uh, small, do you know, if, do you know if my, like, stuff goes into the, the old base cache? Like, when I build a new base, will I have half my stuff or whatever? Free log. I do not like this. Force to harbor a Gek on board. I give them safe passage across the stars. I lodged a complaint. Let's just... We encountered remnants of the Viking expedator, expeditory force. Uh, their ships decimated. Fragments of flesh and steel floating through the asteroid field. Sentinels scan their debris. We leave quickly. I refuse to take my crew any further. You should have told me why we were doing this. Why... There's no hope, is there? That's a new one. Ooh, new mission. Ah, right, that's cool. I'm gonna need, uh... I'm gonna need iron in order to fix these up. Uh, I believe circuit boards are given from the uh, scientist. Uh, let's just go. Open this cave and just arm a bunch of iron real quick. Hello? Ooh, 13 species on this planet. Yeah, I don't remember exactly when it is, but it's, it's like, uh, you pretty much just need the builder and then follow, like, he'll keep telling you who to get next and stuff. Yeah, the, the Builder definitely needs one. What else does the... Uh Warp reactor Tau need. Lots of nickel. And lots of fungal mold. What's up, buddy? Please don't jump in front of my laser. I appreciate it.
Alright, let's go dig up some treasure. need to use your train tool for so I like that they do I not get anything okay good <laughs> I like that they uh they made fixing these a little bit cheaper a hundred iron but it was like 97 iron or something stupid like that that was kind of steep I don't mind giving 60 iron for some of this stuff hidden yet. Are you kidding me? No, oh, I guess I'm still not hidden. Okay. Now it's gone. Uh, guess I don't need to dig up any more uh, any more of those. Whatever. How much iron do I got left? Ooh, I got lots of iron. All right, let's get out of here. What do you think? Should we uh, should we set up our new base on the, the gamma root? Establishment for 24 euros. Um, I would. I don't know the conversion of euros to USD, so. But even without knowing, I, I'm, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say it's still worth it. Uh, so we got star bomb, and then this is gamma root. Yeah, let's check out this gamma root planet. Maybe we'll. Uh, Okay, it's so it's pretty close to one to one. Yeah, de it's definitely worth it for 24, 24 euros. <laughs> Without a doubt. I did think the game was worth it when it was sixty dollars, though, and it is still sixty dollars a lot of places. So, but uh, yeah, that's cheap as hell. After all the updates and everything. That's super cheap. I think most people in the channel will agree. With the purple planet too? Hell yeah, let's live here. I love moons. It's like the, the scenery of seeing your uh, home planet or whatever. Seeing the planet in the horizon. Always looks so cool. Check this place out. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I think uh, I think setting up shop on a place I can grow gamma root is gonna be like I pretty much just flip. Uh, I just flip the 
frost crystal that I had growing outside on my old home with the um, gamma root outside this time. Yeah, I finished the Artemis quest line. I'm in a whole new world. Aw, oh, Sentinels are hostile. Okay, I guess we're not living here. I mean, we can. They don't really care about hostile Sentinels. This guy's kind of an idiot. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, I picked the uh, the tranquil galaxy. Oh, there's fucking platinum in the way. Maybe we can make a jump since we. Uh, I cannot harvest that at all because of that platinum. They're really dumb, hostile sentinels. Yeah, it's it sounded the most appealing. The other one I was leaning towards was the uh, the last one that I guess is uh, uh, the Hilbert or oh no oh I guess it didn't it didn't trigger them yet. A terrible time for that to happen. There is a time investment. Uh, this this game has a has a tendency of taking over your life if uh, you let it. So, uh, I, but, but the best advice I usually give people is if you're if you're watching some streams and you like what you see, then 24 euros is a perfectly fine price. Uh, warp. See this. I think this this thing was added before there was a freighter, though, right? I don't know. I'm gonna say starship. I was wrong. Well, screw you too, then. Haha. <laughs> oh, you're uh, normal. Yeah, the the funny thing is when I when I finished the Artemis quest, the, it completed my get to the center on permadeath and survival achievements in Steam. So like, according to the game, it thinks I have already gotten to the center. The Sentinels aren't doing shit to me. Sounds like a plan. Strongly recommend it. It's it's like a it's a game that'll suck up your time right away because you kind of like in awe of everything for a little while, and then I think I think after a little while, it's it's easy to like pull back a little bit. But I keep having fun with it. I gotta find another portal. And don't I have to like unlock the glyphs and stuff too, or... I, 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 don't, I actually don't know how portals work. Like, don't I have to find like graves with glyphs and stuff? Let's go, uh, we'll jump to another system. Oh, we got, we got another Atlas path. We should probably, like, try to, try to get back to the Atlas path. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any glyphs yet. 
Or maybe we should... Maybe we should head towards the black hole. Alright, Starkiller. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the host. Take it easy. Uh, Lamar, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, we got four planets. Let's see what we got. Do I engage? These are kind of assholes. Nah, I don't feel like engaging. I'm not gonna die just before I wrap up the stream. I mean, I don't. I haven't found like any. I found the one grave that you find during the story that it like sends you to, but other than that, like it kind of just filled in the glyphs for me. I didn't. I didn't ever have to like. Uh, like go to an address or anything. Anytime I went to a portal, it just kind of dialed itself. Up, oh, up. Oh, this this one might be cold. Might be our new home. Come on. Yeah. We can pretty much just reset up shop exactly how we had it. Yeah, I, th I thought I thought it would uh, like I thought it would at least uh, like help you like give you the first one like lead you to the first one, but instead it just kind of it made me think that like I I just always have them or something. It's not it's not a it's not a very good tutorial for for portal for uh, portals, even if it's a prerequisite. Yeah, this is a long jump. My ship is getting beat up. Like if I look at my portal glyphs, rom. So yeah, I, I, uh, you find graves and stuff in caves, right? So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to start like looking for some and stuff. Jesus Christ, dude! I'm about to get scanned, and I have like no shields because I'm getting destroyed by Galip or these asteroids. Fuck. I'm starting to think it's just like certain systems have larger concentration of asteroids and you get kind of pelted while you're uh, while you're flying and stuff or while you're uh, pulsing oh okay oh yeah that's right yeah I, I forgot about the random traveler guys cool cool yeah, so I'll have to start doing that once I once I get settled again, since I gotta reset up shop. Yeah, like the space station. If you find, uh, I think I might have seen one. I had a space station before. You just like kind of warp in back and forth and uh, it keeps giving you a new location or whatever. I'll keep an eye out.
Come on, be somewhere I can land. Does not look like somewhere I can land. Definitely not. I don't know what happened with that scan. Getting ready to get scanned by pirates and just kind of stopped in the middle of nowhere. Uh, shelters. kind of cool. So you just like leave a beacon by the grave and jump back and forth. Neat. Just like casually found a second grave. <laughs> spot. Let's go. Find me a good one. Dude. Nope. Yeah, I haven't seen a traveler actually in a while either. I think uh, when 1.3 came out, I found one almost like the second building that I went into or something. Uh, but I have not seen one in a while. All these little shelters, no landing spots. Not really hurting for fuel or anything, but... Did they update the experimental? Uh, Nikita, thank you very much for the follow. What's up, Chris? How you doing, man? It's been a while. Oh, really? Didn't even know that could happen. That's one thing this planet is different from my my planet is uh, everything was like tightly packed into my other planet. Yeah, maybe we don't need to settle down here yet. Kind of can jump a couple more times. See what we see. We got a black hole. Do we, uh. I think we'll, we'll save the black hole for tomorrow. Now, nah, you know what? We're, jump, we're gonna jump through the black hole and then, uh. and then that's gonna be the end. See where we come out. Hello. Whole time. I haven't been through a black hole at all in this uh, in this run. So might I as well go through a black hole after we just spent all that time fixing all our shit. <clears throat> uh, 
obviously very smart. Now, maybe I can like find a planet here that I want to settle on. Got fungal mold there. Come on. Obviously, star bulb. Empty. Got emerald though, we need emerald. Uh, is that it? Gotta be another star bulb. Yep. Alright, I don't care about any of these planets. Yeah, but I haven't been through one. Probably gonna turn my stream into crap. Eh, it's pretty short. Six planets. Well, this is a pretty nice. But is going back through the black hole. How long is that? Wow. 1.1 million light years I, I went. And it, and it broke my... Oh, it did break a bunch of other things, too. Damn. Uh, did it, though? No, I didn't. These, these were both broken. Uh, this was still broken. And this was still... So, yeah, actually, all it broke was my phase beam. I'll take that. Here, it said that I went like super far. But we got how do how do I tell? Can I not tell? Like this guy to this guy. It said like 1.1 million light years. Okay, I already fixed it. Oh, I guess it broke. Is it just telling me all the stuff that is broken? Uh, selenium. I guess I should look at what it is first, huh? Fungal mold. Check this flash. Abandoned. I think she means like a special ship just for traveling through black holes that you don't care about breaking. million is like a lot to some people but it's not at all to some others now 
I guess if you have a freighter, then one million probably is pretty cheap. Uh, what am I doing? I just wanted to wanted to come here. I don't know why. I keep looking at these. Alright, we got another frost planet. Let's go see. If we can find a base before we call it a night. We're a little bit over time, that's okay. Where was that blue planet? Remember a purple planet and scan it. Bob. Like this flash. Mongol mold. Where did this planet go? Oh, here it is. Ross Crystal. And we have a habitable base already. An abandoned building. Habitable base. I know nothing about black holes. Besides, they break shit. <laughs> so, so, I cannot confirm nor deny any of what's happening in chat right now. I didn't take note of how far from center I was when I left. Frozen with water. Yeah. Might not be as cool as I want it to be, but we'll see. Yeah, I was saying that before. Uh, before one three came out, that was on my wish list. Was a submarine. I would love that. All right, I don't care about using the fuel here. Oh, 
Well, just gonna check out crisp, low, barren. All right, we don't have aggressive sentinels on an ocean planet. It's pretty great. We are setting up shop here. Yeah, the, uh, you know, the, the roamer can submerge or whatever, but it's still so slow. I want, like, a, an actual submarine that, that will, uh, like, you actually swim through the water versus just barely driving on the ground. All right, we're home. Let's check out all my stuff in here. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like we got half our stuff. All right. Yeah, this is, this is gonna take some time to restock and everything. But we'll uh, definitely get that worked on. Uh, next time. Uh, but that's gonna do it for me tonight. Uh, thank you everyone for following, hosting, uh, watching. Um, I'm off tomorrow, but we will be back the next day and hopefully put this base back together, get our lives back together after finding this amazing new galaxy. Um, but yeah. All right, guys. Uh, take it easy, everyone. Uh, thanks again for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you next time.